Hey, Dr. Scott here with the weekly health tip. Today we're going to talk about stem cell treatment for arthritis. So arthritis is one of those conditions that's very debilitating, particularly as you get older. Uh, joints tend to wear out. This is also called, known as degenerative arthritis um, or degenerative joint disease. And it's a group of mechanical abnormalities involving degradation of the joints, uh, including articular cartilage and subchondral bone. Uh, the symptoms may include joint pain, tenderness, stiffness, uh, locking and sometimes uh, an effusion. Uh, when these bone surfaces become uh, less well protected by cartilage, bone may be exposed and damaged uh, as a result to get decreased motion, to get secondary to pain. Um, the regional muscles may atrophy and become weaker as well as ligaments may uh, become more lax. Um, there's also swelling and aching of the joints. The rank is one of the most troublesome indicators of age uh, and as I mentioned earlier, very debilitating for some people as it progresses. Uh, so there's been all kinds of treatments for this using medications, um, very dangerous medications. In a lot of cases obviously ends up with, with surgery, uh, knee replacements, hip replacements, shoulder replacements, uh, spinal surgeries, all of which are have lots of risk to them as well. Um, so, you know, what are the advantages of treating osteoarthritis uh, with uh, allogenic uh, umbilical cord tissue derived from stem cells? Well, um, these mesenchymal stem cells are immune privileged, so their immune system privilege uh, and cell rejection is not an issue uh, and the human leukocyte antigen uh, matching is not necessary. So in other words, these cells can be used uh, interchangeably from you know, one area of the body to the other, from one person to the other. There's no immune privilege, so you don't have to be tested to see if there's a match or not. Uh, the stem cells uh, with the best anti-inflammatory activity uh, immune modulating capacity and ability to stimulate regeneration can be screened and selected. So we, uh, these actually are selected at the lab and tested, make sure they're free from any type of bacteria or viruses uh, or damage, then they're put into quarantine or sterilized uh, so they can be used uh, obviously uh, in, the, you know, in clinical situations for uh, these types of treatments and this is again highly regulated now. Uh, and screened by uh, the FDA as well. <clears throat> so these stem cells uh, can be administered multiple times over the course of days in uniform doses that contain high cell counts. Uh, getting those right into the affected area where they can begin to start rebuilding tissue or directing the rebuilding of the matrix uh, in you know, connective tissue, um, in bone, in cartilage, uh, lots of different applications for this uh, as well. So this umbilical cord tissue provides an abundant supply of these mesenchymal stem cells. Um, there's no need to collect stem cells from the patient's hip uh, bone or fat under anesthesia, which is especially for small children and their parents can be an unpleasant ordeal. Uh, uh, there is a growing body of evidence showing that umbilical cord derived mesenchymal stem cells are more robust than mesenchymal stem cells from other sources. Um, and there's no need uh, to administer uh, chemotherapy drugs like uh, granulocyte colony stimulating factor uh, to stimulate the bone marrow to produce uh, granulocytes and stem cells and release them from the bloodstream. Which means like you don't have to take any special drugs to try to boost your stem cell count when you can get it from outside sources that, this, that come from stem cells from the umbilical cord, the Wharton's jelly from the umbilical cord, which is the umbilical cord closest to the fetus. So these umbilical cord stem cells are also donated uh, from cesarean sections uh, by the parent, uh, so there's no, they're not coming from aborted fetal tissue or anything like that. Uh, so uh, this is a very uh, amazing and promising field in uh, the area of regenerative medicine and actually helping people get healthier, get their uh, life back, reduce pain without drugs, without surgery, uh, very minimally invasive, it's long lasting. Um, the procedures don't take a lot of time in the office, literally uh, a pipe patient can be in and out of the office in, in literally 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, very, very cool field that we're starting to actually delve into in our office now at, uh, under our inter integrated health uh, umbrella. Um, so uh, anyway, if you have any questions about that, you can call the office or uh, click on the links uh, that we have for any other information. Also, you can get on our uh, Facebook page and like our Facebook page and see a lot of the information as well. So until next time, Dr. Ewing signing off.